you don't see the foreclosures in the area, which was pretty high at the time. When GM closed, there was a lot of people that lost their homes. They're in making improvements on them. They're not sitting empty as long. Um, it's just been a huge boost for our economy in this area. Yes, everyone was. They thought it was, was a great opportunity to bring, you know, something back to our community, um, help it grow and build. Almost all of our employees, are they live fairly close, maybe within a half hour of uh, Fuyao. So they do uh, various jobs. Each week or each other week, we, we try to hire more people as our business grows and our demand for our product uh, also grows. So yes, we're, we're always currently adding people all the time. So we have a lot of new young people, and you know, somebody, hopefully we have a lot of people that learn a job so they can train the next person that comes in. So our American workforce is getting better at doing that, which is good. Now we know we've got a company like this, and maybe we'll have another three or four generations that'll work there. So yeah, it's fantastic. Fantastic people and fantastic company. We're glad they're here, absolutely. Well, by bringing more employees, we're going to increase the economy, and particularly in the very local area, but also for greater metropolitan Springfield. Uh, 130 jobs that are all going to be well-paying jobs are going to definitely help the impact of the environment. We're also going to be purchasing services and supplies from all of our neighbors and friends that are here in the uh, up on Page Boulevard. So I think we're going to have a pretty large impact on the community. Changjong, I wanted to broaden my horizon. I wanted to be part of um, an innovative company that was expanding here in the United States. I've never been in a factory setting, and at this point, um, I'm looking forward to learning something that I've never learned before. It's been pretty interesting to see the uh, language barrier kind of be overcome. Um, it was definitely a challenge that was pretty obvious in translating the engineering documents and the plans and drawings and things for the trains uh, to answer all the MBTA questions. It was pretty interesting to watch kind of that back and forth. I love having the experience of all the, the backgrounds and learning new things and, and, learn, and getting the opportunity to actually go to China, which I've heard many great things about. I think it'll be great to, to learn and to see how it's done from people who have been doing it for a long time so I can take what they've obviously mastered. They've, made a, they've obviously done very good at making the train so we can take it here and try to replicate what they've been doing and uh, hopefully have the same success in the United States in Springfield that they've had over in China and Shenzhen. They bring the manufacturing to the area, something that's been actually absent for quite some time. Uh, and the culture. It, it, maybe even just something as small as one single company can bring other cultures together and show everyone the, uh, the beauty and, uh, and experience other things that China has to show us here. And, and we can do the same, show them uh, how the United States works or Springfield and, and contribute and work together to create a great, a great product that, that many cities in the future should be using. We need manufacturing back in the United States, and it's exciting that CRRC has chosen Springfield to do that. 